Hello beautiful creatures, welcome to my channel. I am Aradia Arcanum and I'm coming by to um, very briefly to give a review on a Netflix TV show called Luna Nera. This is a witchy show um, and Luna Nera means black moon. So right away guys, you knew I was like, I'm on it. <laughs> So I love the show because the setting was back in the 17th century in Italy. And it wasn't um, Harry Potterish. It was more um, old school, um, old school witch. So in this story, it um, is about this young woman named Addie. She is a midwife. Um, with her grandmother and during the this woman giving birth she has Addie has a premonition and she has no idea what's happening and all of a sudden things spiral out of control and you know back then premonitions anything witchy you were put on a cross and burned um, on fire and so my pet peeve about this in life in general is secrets is a no-no right because if she had a known about her lineage her power this none of this would have, wouldn't have happened because she would have known what was going on but i digress so this whole thing um spirals out of control um she begins like her destiny begins to unfold then, of course, classic Romeo and Juliet. She falls in love with um, someone from the family of the people on the other side of things who are ready to go out and kill the witch. So you can imagine how that went. Um, I think this show was also awesome because it, it spoke about... Um, the empowerment of women so of course you know I love that as well and then um, another thing that I loved about it was there were a couple of twists that I would not have figured out and maybe for those of you that think you can always figure out the ending or the twist of shows go luck with that <laughs> let me know in the comments if you figured it out but I think this is a great show while you're home to just take a look at. However, it is only like six or seven episodes. So that was a bummer. Um, good thing at least I found out there is a second season coming. And that is in January 2021, which is, um, I believe, um, it's in 2021, hopefully. <laughs> So, um, go ahead and watch this show, guys. And by the time I watched every episode when I finished, I was, like, ready to go and do, like, rituals and be all witchy and put on my cape. And then, um, coming to the last episode, there's this, uh, at the ending, there's this, without giving away too much, there's this theatrical scene, of course, because it has, this is the finale and has to end that way, right? <laughs> There's this scene where she's like, she's running through the woods and she um, falls to the ground and her hair is like all in her face. And next thing you know, she looks up and she has like these black eyes, guys. Um, I saw that and it sent chills through me and I'm like, yes. So by the time I was um, finished all of that, I was ready to go into the woods, into the forest, and create magic, have the winds blow, all of that. <laughs> so um, as um, who I am, that was very inspiring. So looking forward to the second season. And I hope um, that you guys enjoy watching it as well. At least it will be, you know, let it be something entertaining, um, I hope, for you guys. So that is what I wanted to um, come by and share with you guys. And if you've already seen it and uh, feel um, the opposite about it, well, let me know. I would like to share thoughts on that. So into the shadows. Talk to you real soon. Bye.